What's up, everyone? How y'all doing? I am back with a nerd video, actually, a fives and tens video. Well, actually, with the exception of today, I'm doing a top 15 video, and there's a reason why, actually. Um, uh, over on the Wrestling with Regret uh, channel, please check it out. Um, uh, Brian Zine released a video called, um, uh, well, in his top eight favorite uh, wrestling themes or WWE themes. So, uh, I decided, you know what? Why not? How about I throw my two cents? And give you guys, give him my list of, fa or all you guys, my list of favorite wrestling music. And of course, I, I and I believe most of us, including Brian Zane himself, would agree is that wrestling and rock and roll mesh perfectly, like bread and butter. And I agree. And of course, you know, all, it tells something about a character of the wrestler that enters through the curtain, makes his way to the ring. Okay, it just says a lot about him. You know, gets a crowd pumped up and ready, ready for action. Actually, so uh, yeah. So what makes my list interesting is that. I decided I couldn't make it a top 10 or barely a top 5 because I have more guys on my list that I actually enjoy, especially um, their music. And not to mention, some of these people are not even from the company, actually. So uh, so, so that's what makes this list interesting is that it's not just WWE. There's Impact Wrestling. There's characters from, from all over the world and that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. There's the, I have a couple of New Japan guys on my list. And uh, so I'm going to do this in no particular order, actually. That's what I'm going to... What makes this list even interesting is that I couldn't like make a proper list, so I'm just gonna do this in no particular order. So I'm gonna kick off my list. Um, like I mentioned, um, since I mentioned New Japan, um, or Japanese wrestlers, um, kicking off my list is um uh, Hayabusa's theme actually. If we're not, yeah, Hayabusa did actually have a theme song actually. And for all all you people out there that don't know who Hayabusa is, for all you true wrestling fans, you know who he is. For all, those of you that don't know, then what the hell are you doing here, actually? So we'll look him up, actually. Um, he was the, he was an icon of the company known as FMW during the 90s. It was pretty much a hybrid um, martial arts um, wrestling and hardcore company. It was kind of like, I would say, a pseudo-precursor to ECW, even though it came along this, around the same time as ECW. And believe it or not, he actually had a theme song. I mean, just listen to this. There's something bone chilling about this theme song. Just listen. Gives off a little bit of a western feel. It gets better. Goosebumps. Seriously. Look. Goosebumps. Why not? I let, you, got, you got to find this song, people, and listen to it. It's quite amazing. There you go. So, that's what I love about his theme song. Just truly, I mean, just listen to that. It sounds majestic, bone-chilling, and also just tells you, here's an icon about to make his way to the ring. A guy that truly, you know, made a high-flying star in himself, you know, flying martial arts, wrestling, and the Lucha Libre style. I mean, just listening to that thing, so just, it will always give me chills, and I will never, ever forget him. So, hi, Busa, rest in peace. We love, love you, and we miss you. Um, uh, also making my list, um, uh, why the hell not, since we're on the topic of rest, uh, New Japan wrestlers, why the hell not, since Gay Nakamura's theme song, uh, come on, come on, we can't, we can't, we have to admit is that we all sing along with that song, you know, whoa, you know, all that, uh, so that makes it my list, um, Jushin Liger's theme makes my list, and I'm talking about not his theme song they used to, at Brooklyn, his true theme song in, in New Japan, actually, and believe it or not, I, it is available for download on iTunes, the name of the artist is M I O. Um, you it, you gotta look it up. That song is called Akiri no Jushin. Okay, uh, of course my Japanese is terrible, so I can't pronounce it correctly. So definitely find it, listen to it. It's awesome. Okay, if you're a true uh, New Japan fan or wrestling fan, find this theme song. Okay, so that's why it makes the list. Um, then we have the NWO theme. Why not? Uh, one of the best factions of the in the history of WCW, why the hell not, um, and while on the topic of factions, um, uh, here's a, a nerf, nerf faction is, um, the Immortal theme song from TNA, say what you want about it, but I just love the theme song, actually, um, there's, it kind of blends, how do I say this, a little bit of the end of well with a little bit of horsemen, but how can I say, it accentuates, you know, oh god, here comes a grueling, 
power hungry, uh, stable, but yet at the same time, they also like, blew a little, you know, style and substance, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. Um, I'm not gonna play it, so uh, I just want to get through this list actually. Um, uh, let's see, uh, the horseman theme, why hell not? That galloping trot that I always hear at the beginning of the theme song, it always gets me fired up. And it's like, you know, greatness is about to make their way to the ring. Why the hell not? We all flash up the, the insignia, you know, the four, four horsemen, you know, you know what I mean? So that's why. So uh, makes the list. Um, Ken Shamrock's theme song is on my list. Why? Because um, every time I hear it, it's a, it always says, uh-oh, oh shit. Business is about to pick up. Here comes a bass. Here comes a crazy man. He's going to beat the crap out of you. He's going to tear your leg off. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Enough said there. Um, the APA theme makes my list. Um, why? Because it truly accentuated the badass uh, theme. You know, I can come... It was just, it's just... It's just really hard to describe, but I just love the theme, actually. And uh, uh, it just really suits the characters of these two brawler drinkers and brawlers as you would say I love it and uh that's that uh Steve Austin's theme why the hell not class sharing followed by that amazing guitar riff and all that you know makes you truly like a bass you know to want to drink drink beer flip the bird and all that other stuff you know the true you know definition of you know anti-authority so there you go uh Finn Bauer obviously his theme makes the list the perfect blend of eerie majestic and cool and just coolness all around i love it actually you know <laughs> uh now let's see um oh ultimo dragon's theme is on my list but not just any ultimo dragon theme um his it was actually his theme song in wre that he used for his short time which eventually was used for ricky steamboat but i just love it because it there's was something so unique about this about the theme song was that um it's like you know it should you know it blended you know so okay here here's you know the oriental origins of this of this character and then throw in the sound of uh, you know this epic creature of a dragon or whatnot it just explodes you know expulsed you know something amazing and uh, and truly obviously he's a dragon he's ultimo dragon the last dragon as in um as in no the the backstory was that he was a prodigy of bruce lee so it's there you go kind of thing and i, I loved it actually so I don't know. No, I just have a flair for uh, Japanese wrestlers, I guess. Uh, what, now, let's see. Uh, I think I've hit about all of them. Oh, uh, oh, the WrestleMania theme song. Why not? You know, oh, oh, WrestleMania. Come on, you can't, can't, can't admit that it is catchy. Come on, you got to think, think about that, actually. And then, um, let's see, Bret Hart's theme. Why not? I'm a fan of Bret Hart and Owen Hart, but it's Owen's high energy theme, actually. That that one, you know, um, when when he was Rocket Owen Hart. Okay, definitely look up that theme if you if you can find it. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's still available on iTunes. Definitely get it. All right, and then finally, um, the the last theme song I'm gonna cover is the Undertaker's theme song. Actually, and um, if you're not, and it's not just any Undertaker theme song. It's his theme from 1998, actually. It's pre-Ministry um, uh, Undertaker. And uh, it's, there's just something unique about it that I just love, actually. It, it just blends, you know, the dark eeriness, then mixed in with, the, oh, my God. It's just There's just something about it. I mean, and, of course, I'm going to agree with Brian Zane. It's a great song. It, uh, all the songs, I mean, just listen. Any Undertaker theme song, listen. I'm seriously gives me goosebumps every time I hear that. That's another reason why. Listen for yourself, people. Okay. Definitely download this song if you can. All right. So uh, that does it for today. So I want to hear your list. Okay. Um, please thumbs up this video. Subscribe to my channel and keep it.